In Secunderabad, tension continues to rise following a violent incident at the Sri Muthyalama Devi Temple, where an idol was desecrated. The Vishwa Hindu Parishad, or VHP, has now issued a 48-hour ultimatum to the Telangana government, demanding the suspension of police officers involved in lathi-charging protesters. On October 14th, activists of the VHP, Bajrang Dal and other Hindu organizations gathered to protest against the desecration of a temple idol. The accused, Salman Salim Thakur, an engineering graduate from Maharashtra, allegedly entered the temple and vandalized the main idol of Sri Muthyalama Devi in the early hours of the morning. As the protests escalated, the situation took a violent turn. Video footage shows protesters throwing water packets at the police, which resulted in a lathi charge. Several individuals were injured during the clash, including both protesters and police personnel. VHP State Chief Spokesperson Bala Swami accused the Telangana government of targeting Hindus and demanded swift action against the police officers involved in the Lathi charge. Meanwhile, Bandi Sanjay Kumar, Union Minister of State for Home, condemned the police's response to the protest. He criticized the government for failing to take serious action against the individual who desecrated the idol, instead focusing on those protesting the crime. The VHP's 48-hour ultimatum puts pressure on the Telangana government as Hindu organizations continue to demand justice for what they see as both religious desecration and police misconduct. The eyes of the community are now on the state's response as the deadline approaches.